What is going on people? Today we're gonna go ahead and do Coliseum. There's a new constellation. I know that last week I didn't do a Coliseum video. I think I I don't remember doing one. Um, and it's really because one, I had just recently migrated so everybody that I was going up against had like really crappy teams. And two, the constellation didn't really change much of everything or anything. Um, I think the only real hero that would make use of the uh, constellation was Incinerator. That's about it. Everybody else was kind of meh. So it wasn't a very exciting one. But this week, oh, dexterity heroes boost the recharge per second, meaning that they get to proc faster. And max HP plus 30%, meaning that assassins are much harder to kill, which makes them a nightmare. Now, this is the team that I'm currently using. I'm kind of testing the waters, right? Don Guapo, because Don Guapo serves as a great alternative between tank and like an extra assassin then you have the two core assassins femme fatale and demon slayer and then the one that i'm kind of testing out is master cook ideally a lot of people might use uh cursed hunter here but i'm going to be testing out master cook because because i've noticed if don guapo is going to the end of the field and so is demon slayer and so is femme fatale if Master Cook gets one of his procs over in their side of the field and hits everybody, that is devastating. So that's that's the team that I'm currently using. Um, I will say Lore Weaver this week may not be as useful as usual, but in this team specifically, she is actually very useful because even if she dies early, she serves as an extra heal for the assassins while they're doing their damage at the other side. So if Lore Weaver dies. That basically just means that any damage my assassins have taken within the first 10 seconds of the match is gone. They're back up to full health. So it's kind of like a little... I, I even try like all offense like this. And I won all the matches that I went up against. The only issue is that I found myself a lot of times with, with just these two left. And it was always super, super close. So I didn't really find that to be very optimal when everything is just coming down to the wire. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. What do we have here? Um, see, this is one of those matchups, right? Where if that Demon Slayer dies, the rest of their team just kind of crumbles. But the Demon Slayer tracker combo is nothing to sneeze at. So, let's see. Let's, let's do it. Let's see. It's all gonna come down to the Demon Slayer. Um... Uh, also, I guess the, the, the little Tinkerbell is what I like to call her. The, the little Tinkerbell, if we can take her out, that'd be great. She's immune to damage, apparently. Wow. That's that's amazing. Um, oh my gosh, she got the proc off before the silence. Now that is real unfortunate. There goes my heal, but there goes their heal. Um, this Demon Slayer is about to get destroyed. Alright, that's a lie. It barely did anything. What the hell? Wow. Okay, uh, I, I guess it's still... Like I said, um, the team did fairly well. The lore Weaver just kind of was there to die and heal out my assassins. Which, okay, it's great. Um, 524. What's the lowest I can go? 515 is not bad. That's a... It's, I feel like it's pretty much the same team. Let me see if we can get something different. Ooh, no healer. Um, I kind of want to try this out just because they have a lot of really high damage. I don't know why the Child of Light is there. I don't know if maybe they're using it because Child of Light was okay last constellation. I believe Child of Light actually took, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe that's why Child of Light is there. But honestly, Child of Light should not be there. Um, it would either be a Demon Slayer or, like, Death Archer, in my opinion. But, uh, let's see how, how it does. Let's see how it does. Let's see. It looks like we're targeting the Trickster first. Okay. Um, it, it is kind of weird for me to still have my healer. But here's here's where the um, the master cook is gonna come in handy. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my god, that was so much damage in like a second there. That's insane. Oh, somebody's gonna take that to the face. She lift somehow, and then Demon Slayer is gonna, yeah. 
Wow, she took that to the face. That Max HP 30% is no joke. Um, but yeah, I mean, my team relies a lot on my assassins. Master Cook is kind of like the cleanup, but my assassins are still the ones that are going to be doing the most damage. A shade. This one's actually pretty interesting. I want to try this out. Hmm. So if you think think about it, they have shade over my fin fatale, and then they have tracker over my master cook, which is interesting. It's kind of like a free to play compared to pay to play kind of scenario. Oh my god, that Tinkerbell is so dead. Oh, she didn't die. What? I don't, I, I don't know how she survived that second um, Demon Slayer hit. Maybe she dodged it somehow, but my god, that was... Oof. And then, the, of course, there goes my Lore Weaver. Um, that Lore Weaver dying there actually served as, as a good thing for me because it actually healed me back up, like I mentioned. Master Cook, I need your proc right now. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Stop dodging. That's not cool. He dodged every single thing. He dodged every single thing. I have to I have to chuck that up to just luck. Who was that? Quantech? I want my rematch. I really I, I, I really hope that they are like a rematch option because sometimes when you go looking for people and you take forever, that's really annoying. Ugh. Anyway, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, she's not as low as she was before, but this time she dies. Uh, my my lore might die here. She does not. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely chucked that last one up to some luck because I'm gonna win this one convincingly. I honest, I honestly, I feel like the luck came when that that um, prima donna did not die right away, when Demon Slayer was gonna proc on her. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see. 453. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, this one is f it's pretty much using the same logic that I'm using, except that they're using um, Curse Hunter over Femme Fatale and Black Crow over Master Cook. Now, I've always believed that Demon Slayer pairs better with Femme Fatale just because... Femme Fatale lowers defense, Demon Slayer takes advantage of that. Uh, so I, I've always felt that they paired better than Curse Hunter and Demon Slayer, but uh, let's see. Let's see. Also, I don't trust Black Crow's proc. Like, you would think that it does a lot of damage, but a lot of times it doesn't do it nearly as much as you would want it to do. The Demon Slayer got... Okay, well, both Lore Weavers are dead. It's just going to come down to who can do the most damage. Ooh, ooh, Master Cook, I need you. Master Cook, I need you. Master Cook, I need you. Right now, Master Cook, wake up! Ba -ba 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 ooh, yeah, Master Cook for sure does way more damage than Black Crow. Easy. And now, yeah. Woo. That extra HP for Master Cook is also really, really good. It makes him go from not so frail. I want to call him frail, but he he's not the tankiest right but with this week it's hard to take him down 426 is that the lowest i can go Ooh, 421 a lot of greens i don't feel good about facing that one it feels like a automatic Ooh, petite devil this this is where this team should shine because that petite devil should die instantly if it does not we're in trouble but it should die instantly and then from there every, everything else should just fall let's see the only pressure that Lord Weaver is going to have is the Don Guapo. And Don Guapo shouldn't do enough damage to take her down. At least instantly. So let's see. Okay. The Petit Devil is dead, right? Yes. That pretty much ensures that I win. Yeah, because now Master Cook is going to focus on Don Guapo. Their side is going to start dying. Hello? How did he not die? Okay, he did die. Okay, good. Yeah, and now, now the Lord Weaver has to either heal Don Guapo... Or the Rose Knight. So he has a choice. And the choice is to, to pretty much probably die here soon. Let's see. Will I have enough damage? Here's the silence. That That's 
That should be it for her right here. Yep, that's it. And now everybody else is just going to slowly die. So, yeah, a lot of times, like, if you want to be successful in Coliseum, that's one of the things that I've always said about teams. Recognize who is the number one threat on their side and see about how you can go ahead and take that threat out. If that Petit Devil doesn't die against this team, yeah, they didn't have a lot of damage, but if half the match I'm stunned, I wasn't going to win. So a lot of times it's just recognizing who their, their main damage dealer is, or at least who's the main threat to you, and then um, seeing about how you can take it out. More greens. Ooh, this is actually kind of interesting. I... Hmm... I kind of want to go all damage on this one. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe just to, to show you guys why. Um, one, of, one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to test that out is because with Boommeister, right? You have his hero skill that increases crit of all allies by 100. When you combine that with all the attacks from Boommeister and all the assassins, that makes a huge difference. And you get this, join arm, support allies in combat, granting them combined arms for 8 seconds, which increases peers by 110. Now, if you don't know what that does, you go down to peers, right? Reduces enemies' defense. So not only would he be boosting crit, he's going to be reducing enemies' defense. So that's why I always thought, like, man, maybe if I take her out and just go full offense, it would be really good, but... If you're going up against a decent healer, like a Lore Weaver or a Prima Donna, a lot of times, it's not worth it. But I want to I wanna just show you guys what this looks like as far as damage-wise. Um, honestly, Don Guapo is probably not the best tank here. Probably probably Rose Knight would have been the better tank, to be honest. But anyway, look at the damage, okay? Look at this damage. It's just, it's too much. All right, for some, somehow Shay got away with that. And the tracker got one of her super strong procs off. But yeah, you see the damage that this thing does, especially when you're going up against only one tank. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, can this lineup do a lot of damage. Um, okay, see, against this here, I feel like I can still win, but it's not going to be as easy, right? Because you have Death Knight that's going to take the initial... Uh, burst of damage and then come back so that burst all of a sudden is not as worth it and then you have lore weaver that's gonna do heals every now and then so i want to see it i want to see it tested out though let's see i still feel like the demon slayer tracker combo is going to be the biggest uh, hurdle here um not so much the, the actual tanks i think the tanks will go down fairly easy oh and they get the heal off that's just not great Um, this should, oh my god, if, if, if he gets this proc off, yeah, oh man. E, see, you see what I'm talking about? Like, it, it's a lot of damage, but now I'm just relying on these last. Look at this, this is, this is not reliable. And even though it's a lot of damage and I may still win, it's just too close for comfort. Look at this. And then the, oh, I thought the Death Knight had already died. I'm gonna lose. Whereas, for instance, if I had if I had Lore Weaver on that one, I would have probably easily won that. Uh, matter of fact, let's run that back and uh, check it out. Let's see, Iguana. That's a pretty interesting name, Iguana. Um, at least that's what he said, right? Iguana Kiss. Yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that into Lori Weaver, and uh, I'm hoping that the difference here is that I just win going away. Um, the only issue here would be that Demon Slayer taking out my Lori Weaver way too early, but, eee, see, there it is. That might be a problem. One hit, survive another, sur ooh. Oh, she survived. Heal, 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 yeah. That's that. I think that's probably gonna be GG right here. Even if my Lord Weaver dies now, all it's gonna do is heal my Don Guapo. But Don Guapo dies first. How dare you? Do I get another heal off? If I get this heal off, it's for sure done. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Tracker's still doing way too much damage for my liking. Ooh. Oh my God. One shot. Nope. That thirty percent saves me. 
Yo, the Death Knight's still not dead. Demon Slayer, is it gonna survive? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Please, please. Heal enough. Heal enough. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. Well, so much for that uh, winning easily type of thing, all right? <laughs> that was not very easy. Um, 341, can I go a little bit lower? Eh, maybe not. Hmm. Uh, I guess not. Uh, ooh, okay. They're also going full damage. They don't, however, have a Demon Slayer. And honestly, the assassins here aren't really as valuable right so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and add um rose knight and honestly i i feel like witch doll would be really good here because witch doll brings a defense boost uh yeah 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 which though will give a, a nice defense boost, which will be very good against this team, which is all offense. So it'll help me t uh, keep Don Guapo alive a little bit longer. And uh, the, the offensive pressure that Master Cook is going to put on is going to be, uh, it should be enough. Oh my god, well there goes my Don Guapo, but there goes their Black Crow, yeah. Yeah, and now I got to heal off and it's pretty much GG from here. Yep. Now I just got to... I just gotta take care of this Rose Knight. That proc didn't do nearly as much as I or as he would have wanted. And from there, even though their their Death Knight is alive again, it's yeah, yeah. That defense boost. If you take a look at Lower Weaver's health, that defense boost probably kept her alive just then. So yeah. Um. So here's what I'm gonna do this week. I will. I will. Um. Up. I'm going to upload Coliseum Battles for the next couple of days. Um, this one's kind of just to showcase the overall team that I'm going to be using. Um, tomorrow, I'll try to showcase uh, like free-to-play only. So for free-to-play, there is a very strong lineup this week. If you, if you use something like this for free-to-play, even though it's all or nothing with the Constellation and how you get to proc much quicker and everything... Uh, this could be very very strong and if you're going up against a decent healer or a petite devil or something I could probably take out uh, death archer and put in a demon slayer That would be a very very strong free-to-play team and if you're not free to play then you you start going into the um, the three assassin combos uh, where, where are they at? Right here. We're still the other one right here So you'll be seeing probably quite a bit of this and usually they'll add like a lore weaver, or sometimes it may even be like a witch doll. Um, T Twilight Priestess might actually be very good because of the amount of assassins that are going to be out, or just physical attackers in general. So there is a lot of potential for a lot of teams. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing one Coliseum video uh, a day for the next couple of days to try and cover it all because, like I said, since I didn't do a Coliseum uh, video last week, I'll make it up to all you Coliseum lovers. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comment section what teams you are using or at least what teams you are having success with. And if you're having an issue with one, let me know which one and maybe I can cover that. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys for coming through and until later.